Ah, right, my friends, hey, you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a fresh episode of FM18's The Coventry Conundrum. Above, my friends, is last episode. I can't say too much about it right now because it'll give too much away. Make sure you go and watch it, though. It was arguably one of the biggest games in Coventry Conundrum history. But today, we come to another big game. We're going to be playing the second leg against Real Madrid in the Champions League. We go into this one with a 3-2 ad uh, aggregate advantage. Three away goals, so really it's all about just kind of holding on. We do have a little bit though, my friends, to be getting caught up with between last episode and this one. So let's do that right now. So fixture screen, here we are, ladies and gents. Obviously, if you didn't go and watch last episode before we come here, it's going to spoil it for you. Uh, the last episode we did get beat 2-2. Uh, uh, sorry, on penalties. It was a 2-2 draw in the game, but we got beat on penalties in the Carabao Cup final by Manchester United. They are the fawn in Coventry's side. We just cannot seem to beat that team. It's either a loss or a draw. And uh, again, Man United come up with an unbelievable victory. But be between that episode and this one, I have played Arsenal, West Ham and Liverpool. And you will see three very, very good wins. Um, maybe I should have bought the Arsenal game to you guys. Uh, they were flying quite high. Third in the league at the time. So maybe I should have. But I just kind of wanted to move it along. We've got a lot going on. And obviously the season is winding down down now so we got that 2-1 victory uh you will see Lacazette uh, open the scoring for Arsenal but the man the myth the legend Rui Pedro come up with two goals in that second half nine minutes apart and he helped us win the game and uh, we then went into West Ham strong off the back of that victory and got a 4-2 win against West Ham uh, a lot harder than it should have been uh, probably this game uh, we did take the lead through Cass Janssen a 40, 41st minute goal they then made it 2-1 though uh, uh, Caprari and Lanzini uh, then Josh Cullen popped up with a goal Neto with the third and Cullen sealed the deal against his old club in the 86th minute. A 4-2 victory. Very, very good for us. And then we moved on to Liverpool, who, it has to be said, are really struggling this season. And so it was uh, quite surprising how easy this one was. The only concern about all three games is that we are conceding an alarming amount of goals at the moment. Haven't kept a clean sheet in, I don't know, what is that, uh, seven games? Seven, eight games, something like that? No, actually nine, ten, eleven. Eleven games. Not kept a clean sheet in eleven games. But yes, uh, we did open the scoring through Rui. Pedro, uh, he got a double on the day Mamadou Kande and um, uh, uh, Jorak got the goals as well uh, Tagsef got a goal for Liverpool but a really really good 4-1 win and it brings us to today's episode, it's a one game episode because I'm trying to keep these cup uh, episodes to like specials now and just bring you the entirety of the game it is going to be Real Madrid at the Rico Arena in the second leg of this knockout round of the Champions League I've got to show you the league table before we crack on so let's do that right now this is our the league tables looking ladies and gentlemen and it's very very exciting going into our last eight games this season uh, we obviously run us up in the Carabao Cup still in the Champions League and still in with a chance but it's all about the Premier League this season. Uh, Manchester United and Coventry are level on points. 22 draws, six, uh, sorry, 22 wins, six draws, two losses. Uh, the goal difference is just massive, though, uh, for Manchester United. They just don't concede as many goals as us. And that is why they are sitting top of the table. But we are probably nailed on to finish second this season unless we completely implode if you're looking at Arsenal and Chelsea there's quite some distance between us and uh, you know at the beginning of the season in the comment section after I'd you know signed the players a lot of people were saying this could be your year and I was completely ignoring those comments I thought it was going to take at least another season uh, or two to build this team up but what an effort we have had from the boys so far so it's going to be a very exciting last eight games of the season but enough of that it's time to take on Real Madrid. And like I've already said, it is back at the Rico Arena today. Fortress Rico. We don't lose here very often, but Real Madrid are no ordinary opposition. We are going to go with Conor Ripley in goal. We're going to go with Solomon and Robertson at fullback. Martinez and Jansen make up the centre-back partnership. Knighty comes in to partner Cullen in the midfield. We're going to go Diemico on the right, Neto on the left. Stringle through the middle with his favourite man up top, Rui Pedro. This team has goals in it. This team has wins in it. Can we get through to the next round and knock out Real Madrid? So here we go, ladies and gents. Coventry get the game kicked off. Real Madrid, we know about their team now, but they've gone with a slightly different shape in the game. Very similar to ours. And they're obviously trying to counter that threat that we gave them at the Bernabeu. But um, yes, we are a few minutes into this game. We're coming to our first highlight. Ripley now on the ball. In it to Janssen now, Cullen, Nati, lovely passing from the boys again. 
Can Neto go past his man? No, instead he goes to Stringle. It was a lovely touch in the Taru Pedro, but it's taken down by the defender there. Win that ball, that's lovely. Good stuff, Stringle. Back to Nighty. lovely touch from Nighty there. Comes out wide to Neto. Oh, that's poor. That's really poor. He's either got to take his man on or just turn back. But that's good tackling from Nighty. Was excellent last time. Into Rui Pedro. His first touch lets him down. Ball over the top. Martinez. We're doing well. We're winning the second balls, which is what you've got to do at times. That's good. Stringle. Pedro. Rui Pedro. What a goal. Top corner. Keeper can't get near it. 4-2 on aggregate. 1-0 on the day. Get in. Brilliant football from Coventry. When we drew Real Madrid, all those episodes ago, you will all remember me saying, that's it, Champions League's over. But this has been phenomenal from the boys in this competition to this point. That's a lovely pass to Bernardo Silva, though, but that's all right, Stringle. Ah, clearance doesn't go out. Oh, Bernardo Silva, that's why. But I was saying we will never get past Real Madrid. But look at us. Look how good this team has become. It's been excellent. Oh, wow. We've just got to hold on now. The time is ticking down in the first half. We're to the 20-minute mark. Diamico with a free kick. He's managed to get there on the end of the second. Oh, they've given a penalty. Rui Pedro is going to step up. Let's hope he puts this away because he did miss one against United in the Carabao Cup penalty shootout. That's a great penalty for Rui Pedro. 5-2. And surely we're through to the next round. 41st goal of the season. Rui Pedro has been on fire. Unbelievable stuff. And Leroy Sane has gone off injured as well. Um, I'm just going to mark up. I'm going to get all the tactics right. I don't want to let someone like Gareth Bale into this game. Um... Let's make sure we just, we're just professional about this. But 2-0, Fortress Rico. Unbelievable stuff. Rui Pedro with two on the day. We've got some big league games coming up. The Premier League is still there for us to be winning. So we have got to keep that in mind in this game. But Real Madrid now with the throw in. Well, that was good stuff, right, Jansen? Nothing silly from you. Ripley kicks it out, but wasn't the best of uh, kicks from him. Ronaldo straight down. Ripley's throw. Ripley, what a revelation this goalkeeper's been. We bought him a few seasons ago for next to nothing. And he's just a phenomenal talent as far as I'm concerned. Jensen, that's a lovely touch from him. Out of his feet very quickly. Diamico goes past his man. Brilliant from Diamico. Ball coming in. Rui Pedro. Hat-trick hero. We're through to the next round. We are playing some scintillating football at the moment. Could we win the Champions League this year? This is incredible. 3-0 in the first half against the Real Madrid at Fortress Rico. This is phenomenal stuff from the boys as we do strike into, into half-time. A bit of me wants to pull Rui Pedro off. Does he really need to be out there for much more? Are Real Madrid going to go and score four goals in the second half? I'm not sure based on their performance, but that is excellent from the boys. Um, I am just going to send him out there for a little bit longer. I know he's the hat-trick hero, but um, yeah, it's a corner now at the beginning of this half. Let's come out to Neto. Heading it back in. Oh my God. Cannoned off the post. It was nearly four. Brilliant stuff from the boys. And Real Madrid just have not got going. The tactics haven't worked for them. And this is a brilliant performance from the lads. I'm just going to let this get to the 60-minute mark before I make some changes. Stringle, though, into Cullen. Ball in. Oh, it was a good ball. It was a tasty little cross there. Robertson, though, comes out wide into Rui Pedro. He's not used to being found out there, but that's lovely. Back to Robertson. Deep cross, the Amico header, Stringle! It's straight down Kepler's throat this time. But another brilliant effort made by the boys. Real Madrid have made a change. Muriel coming on for Isco. Don't know how much that's going to help their calls. I may have to mark that up shortly. I'm just trying to get this to a, to a point where I can, you know, make some changes, freshen it up a little, but... Real Madrid trying to build now. Naido with the challenge. Into Rui Pedro. He is in. Yes, he finishes. Four goals on the day. I never doubt Rui Pedro in those positions. We are going through to the next round. And I'm going to make that change now. There's no need for Rui Pedro to be on the pitch. I can't risk him getting injured. Mamadou Kande is going to come on. Uh, Nicholas Knight is actually looking a little worse for wear. Um, I don't know what to do here though because... Nicola, I need him. I need him. We're going to have to bring Brown on. Change uh, Cullen around. 
Um, Brown is better as a... We're going to turn him into Mazala for the rest of the game. Um, Cullen can play that role. That's pretty good. Two changes made. 4-0 on the day. Unbelievable stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot quite believe what I've been watching from this team recently. And it could be more. It could... Oh, it is more. Carlos Martinez... He got headed to him from Janssen at the corner. It's 8-2 on aggregate, ladies and gentlemen, against Real Madrid. They had to be one of the favourites for this tournament. Surely they had to be. I think I'm going to have to check that after this game. But it's 5-0 on the day. This is incredible. I can't get my head around it. Real Madrid, though, they're trying, they're trying now to build something. And that's a brilliant challenge. And Neto now on the ball. Finds Stringle. Ball over the top to Kande. This counter-attack is absolutely murdering them. Kande, oh my God, it's across the face of goal. Unlucky from him. We have had 17 shots and 9 on target. Um... I am going to make my last change of the game. I'm going to bring Neto off because he's a really important cog in the machine. And we're going to bring Cliver on for him, who is a brilliant player. You know what? In any other team, Justin Cliver gets in it. He's that bloody good. But just Pedro Neto's form this season has been phenomenal. Uh, and he has just kept him out. But Real Madrid now, with 10 minutes to go, are going to try and build something. But Solomon, brilliant challenge. Oh, his pass wasn't that good, though. Muriel on the ball for Real Madrid. Are they going to get a goal in this game? Or are we going to manage to keep that ever-elusive clean sheet? Muriel now on the ball. Comes out wide to Pavon. Into Bow. And that's Robertson. Brilliant stuff from Robertson. And now he's out to Cliver, who I was talking about moments ago. Brilliant pass. Into Kande. Into Stringle. He's got the man there if he wants him. He hasn't chose to use him. And that has gone wide in the end, deflecting off of him from the shot. Brilliant stuff. I can't get my head around this. I know I keep saying it. Brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff. I keep repeating myself, but this has been another phenomenal performance. But that's a great ball outside, out there to Pavon. But Robertson had him marked up. Robertson's been brilliant since he came back from injury as well. Keeping other players out of the team. But Kande, that took a little deflection. And Kande's through. Oh, and Kande's hit the crossbar. What an effort from Mamadou. The lad who only gets kept out of the team because of Rui Pedro. Because he's actually phenomenal, Mamadou Kande, when you look at him. We have got a solid squad in place here at Coventry. That's the thing. I think the if we get an injury to some key players, it may hurt us. But it's a solid team. Free kick comes in. And I don't know what's happened here. I think they've just given, they've blown up for another free kick. And this is going to be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. 5 0 on the day to Coventry against Real Madrid. And that is 8 2 on aggregate. Unbelievable effort from the boys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw this in here. We have to throw this in here. The quarterfinal draw is right now. Uh, we could potentially get Atletico Madrid, Chelsea, Man United, Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Lyon or Sporting Lisbon in the next round. So let's take a look and see who we are going to get. So Chelsea are going to be facing off. Against Coventry, there we go, we are one of the first two teams drawn out of the hat. Let's sit, just see who everybody else gets as well. But we have got Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. That is not going to be easy. We've got a semi-decent record against Chelsea, but over two legs. Do I think we can beat them? Potentially, potentially. They've not had the best of league season, so it's actually not the worst draw for us. But Sporting Lisbon have got Atletico Madrid, uh, Lyon have got Bayern Munich, Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain, probably the tie of the round. It has to be said, Man U v PSG. They are absolute titans of world football now. But I am not that unhappy with that draw. And we do find ourselves here, ladies and gentlemen, at the fixture screen. And we've got to talk about next episode, haven't we? Um, I think what I'm going to do going forward, um, because, you know, I can't keep doing these one game episodes. But I think what I'm going to do going forward is I am going to do two game episodes. And what I will do is maybe highlight the Premier League games and then do the full game. So it means that some episodes may run a little longer than they usually do. Uh, but I think we have to do that for the Champions League. It's a massive competition. We're still in it. And it really has opened up now. We've made, managed to dispose of Real Madrid. But as far as next episode is concerned, I'm going to play the games against Watford and Southampton so that we can move that along. But I am going to bring it back next episode for, I think it's episode 64, 
with the M69 Derby at home against Leicester. Not only are they doing well in the league, you know, they're flying high in sixth position, but it's a massive derby. So we'll do that and we'll do the highlight version. And then we'll come back for the full game of Chelsea First leg in that quarterfinal Champions League and it's away from home as well. So it's be a massive, massive fixture. And then after that is 65. So that's a free game episode. So who knows what could happen in that one. But that is what we're going to do. Leicester, M69 Derby, Chelsea quarterfinals of the Champions League. And that is it, my friends. We don't need to take a look at that league table because we haven't played any league games. But Jesus Christ, we have just knocked out. Real Madrid. So there you have it, my friends. That's the end of another brilliant episode of FM18's The Coventry Conundrum. We have conquered one of Europe's giants in Real Madrid in the Champions League, and we have done it in some style as well. You know, that first leg was very tight, the 3-2, but to take them back home and smash them 5-0, incredible effort from the boys, and I tell you what, I want to have Rui Pedro's babies right now. But that is it, my friends, from me today. I'll be back with another episode of FM18's The Coventry Conundrum on Sunday. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Really is appreciated by your boy. But until then, I've been Dan. You've been Legends. And this has been FM18's The Coventry Conundrum. Peace out, my homies. I salute you all. And I'll see you Sunday for that massive episode in The Coventry Conundrum. Layers, my friends.